like a control pass, but there's a little bit more detail to it. This time, I want to control my opponent a little bit more. I don't want him to be able to shrimp away or do anything. I approach the guard always with one leg up. Control the ankles. Now, what I will do is that I want to drop my level so that my shoulder is lower than this knee here. Once I do that, I'm going to drive forward and strike James here, pressing my shoulder against his shin. Now, this will force his back on the mat, and you're going to see that I'm going to be extremely heavy on top of that left leg. This, in turn, will trap his hips and will prevent any kind of shrimping from his part. Here, change levels, drive forward and strike him right there. So I'm bringing my knee to the ground as I hit my opponent. Once I drive forward, this happens. His leg is bent, and I'm really heavy on top of that leg, so his hip will not move. I'm going to start walking towards the side. As I do that, I start arching my back. His leg will get out of there. Now it's time to adjust my side control. I maintain control of the far leg around the ankle. Once again, leg up, control the ankle. Now, lower your level, drop to one knee, and force your way forward. Drive it into his shin. Not low on the shin, but high on the shin. When he falls, I'm going to be extremely heavy on top of that left leg. Now, I will start walking to the side, and I arch my back. You can see that at one point, I let go there of his left ankle and I go towards head control. Once this is over with, I get a better side control position while maintaining control of the ankle.